I think I want to give it a 10 out of 10. Now lunchtime in the hotel room, I have here my brug. I've got the hot dog sausage roll up or whatever they called it. I don't have a microwave. I did leave it out for a little while. So we're gonna try it, let you know what we think. This one looks pretty solid with some cheese and perhaps some herbs baked in the top, but it looks like a pretty thin hot dog style sausage in the middle. Let you know what we think. This sausage roll up is not bad. I like the bread styling. It's a very light and fluffy bread, an eggy style bread, if you've ever seen a bread more like this. It's like the loaves with the braids twisted through it. Again, very light and airy. A bit of cheese on the inside. I think they could go more on the cheese and more on that little hot dog sausage in the middle. Not bad, and I'd love to try it in the toaster oven, but seeing as I have no toaster oven, I think I'd be more likely to try something else. Maybe one of their dessert items there. Overall, seems like a good spot, but nothing incredibly remarkable. Next up, we'll see you tonight. Heading out now for another day. It's a bit of a later evening than anticipated, but we'll get some food, maybe check out a new beachfront lagoon and share that all with you. Let's get out there quick before it's too dark. The plan today is this poke bar, continuing down to the Duke Paoa Lagoon and Beach over here. So we're gonna walk along the beachfront this way up to that poke bar, and then we'll keep going down to check out some of these other beaches. Let's do it. Starting our beachfront walk now, beautiful. It's not yet sunset, which is good because I like the sun up when I walk. Take a look out there and tell me the beach doesn't look different every day, depending upon where the sun is. It's a beautiful sight to see, really nice to walk by it. But we're making our way to that poke spot now. And here's Beaky, restocking their bikes. Nice to see that too. So we're making our way down. Beautiful view of the ocean. I'm sure you've seen a lot of it though. Have you seen enough or not enough? I feel like you can never see enough. Am I right? I mean, come on. Hawaii, Oahu, Waikiki Beach? Come on, come on, come on. I feel like this juncture past the police station is always a change in environment. It's like we're going from that beachfront to more of these city style hotels. So we're making our way down this way now. A few more blocks till we get to our restaurant. Now about to turn left here in front of the Quicksilver. I was thinking at first it might be in this mall, the food court, but I don't believe it is. We can take a quick peek through because I think we walked through this one, but it does seem like the restaurant we'll be visiting is actually directly behind Tonkatsu Jinzu Bergen, which we did not long ago. Some delicious tonkatsu in there but this one should be a freestanding building directly across from them. That being said, that does look like another mall complex right over there, so we'll find out as we get closer. Maybe it's a part of that mall or shopping center ahead. I see it now. You have Quicksilver, you have Hilton Grand Vacations. Over there, that orange sign way over there, right next to the ABC stores, underneath this mall, maybe on the first floor of that mall, is the Poke Bar. It says we're open on the front. Excited to dig into that one, let you know what we think. The crossing's a little bit tricky. Again, not this side, but that side of the street looks okay. Sounds like maybe some live music out here as well, which is fun. Let's go get some food. There's most definitely some live street music down that way, which is awesome. And here is the Poke Bar. We're open for dine-in and take-out. Let's give this one a shot here today and let you know what we think. Pictures first though, of course. Of course pictures. All right, here's the shot. Looks good. Excited to dig in. Um, base. Half sushi rice and half greens, please. Mm. And for your side, you can... Is that the miso crab back there? Miso crab and seaweed salad. Oh. Let's do mostly crab, but I'll try a little bit of the seaweed salad too. Thank you. I'm gonna do ahi, ahi. for one. So she recommends all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me try that spicy salmon then, if that's recommend, or the spicy, spicy tuna, salad. please. Thank you. Yes, I'm gonna say most of them. Let me see if there's anything up there I don't want. I'll do edamame, corn, jalapeno. I wanna say spicy mayo. Sweet chili, you think that would be good? Cool, and take a look at that menu up there. All kinds of options, this is how it's done. All right, okay, this is a huge variety here, love it. I'm not even done, oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what, why not? Oh my gosh, take a look at this beautiful poke bowl here, massive. You got the avocado, literally, practically everything on here. There's very few items I skipped. Maybe I skipped the kale. But that's about it. It was an extra $150 for the avocado. It was about $15 for the bowl. Oh yes, total was about $18. Let's do it. I didn't mention what's in this. It's mostly crab with a little bit of seaweed salad as a side. I got the shrimp, I got the spicy tuna, and the fresh ahi in there, and pretty much every other topping in the book on that one. Half greens and half sushi rice on the bottom as our base. Oh yes, look at that, 18 bucks. 
I'm excited to dig in, let you know what we think. Mm. Mm -mm. Smells so good, looks so good. Let's let you know what we think. Mm. Mm. So, so good here at the Poke Bar. Absolutely love this Poke spot. This might be my new favorite Poke spot of all time. Incredible combination of flavors here and huge quantity of food. I feel like I might just take the rest on the road and I have like three quarters of it left. My favorite pieces of this are probably the pineapple. I don't think we do pineapple in our poke on the mainland, but as soon as I heard pineapple, I'm like, oh yeah, get that in there. There's such a combination of flavors with the seaweed, the fried onions, and the fried garlic, and the furikake. I love all those seasonings on there. In addition to the spicy tuna, probably my favorite meat. I don't feel like the garlic shrimp is especially strong in terms of garlic flavor, but the spicy tuna is most definitely spicy. I'm feeling that a little bit. Amazing combination of flavors. Every bite seems like it's a different style meal. It's a different flavor combination. I'm glad I tried the seaweed salad and the miso crab. I most definitely prefer the miso crab of those two. And I like rice too, but I figured having the greens for half and half would be healthy. So I made some sort of health adjustments here. Overall, incredible spot. Most definitely recommend Poke Bar. I could see myself coming back. This makes the top of my list, top three so far in Hawaii. It's probably this one, Marukame Udon, and Teddy's Bigger Burgers. I think those are some of the top. This one is probably top two. Maybe this is number one, because I love seafood so much and sushi so much. This is incredible, perfect, absolutely love it. Yes, so glad I made this top for this one. So glad they're open for me to enjoy, and I'm excited to take it on the road and enjoy it later. They also have a variety of beers over there that you can purchase with your meal. So another thing about Hawaii, there's Hawaiian style beers and a Japanese one there too. Nice, overall, awesome spot. Most definitely recommend. Do I wanna give it a 10 out of 10, would recommend? I think I wanna give it a 10 out of 10, would recommend. Boom, it's that good, that good. They've got quite a beverage selection here if you didn't see those, those beers up there in addition to those sodas. So there's quite a few drinks to choose from too. Awesome, awesome spot. You got this tea over here too. There's water for you. And it seems like maybe this is more drinks, but they're probably in the cooler over there too. So additional juices and such in there that isn't in that standard cooler. Love it. Ah, so, so good. Love this poke here. Incredible. I'm excited to eat more of this later to have some for maybe breakfast or lunch tomorrow. That'll be awesome. And just continue to enjoy the beautiful vibes here in Hawaii. You can hear that music ahead of me, perhaps getting a bit louder as I'm making my way towards this beachfront that we haven't visited yet. Really cool to see the dancers here on the stage. Would you look at that? You have this Hawaiian style dancer. We're by the Wyndham now, Wyndham Waikiki Beach. It almost seems like there's a live performance happening here. I'm gonna try to be quiet so I don't disturb anything so you can hear it. Oh yes, live music and a dancer with viewers up front. I just missed it. No, they're coming back. Awesome to hear this live music here. Really glad we had the chance to check it out. And maybe we'll be back. Who knows? Trying to continue to make my way faced with some road work here. Maybe we have to go that way. Let's try that. See where that takes us. Maybe up, up and around. See how that works. I think that might be uh, might be the only way to get there. Where does upstairs take us though? No, I feel like we gotta go around somehow. I'm going around. Share a bit of this dancing with you though, since I'm here. Nice, okay. Let's see if we can make it through here and figure out how to go to our destination. It's gotta be on the right somewhere. Maybe we can cut through here, we'll see. No, that doesn't look like it. Uh, we keep going straight, how far is that dead end? Yeah, actually, I think we can make it up to the sign and make our right up turn up there. I think that'll, that'll do it for us. All right, here we go. It says the public beach is either way of this sign. That's cool. We're going this way today, making the right turn, trying to get up to Fort de Rusty Beach or Duke Paoa Beach. We saw some Duke Paoa signs and figures, but not his beach. So let's check out his beach up ahead. Straight could be an interesting route, but for now, we're gonna be making a left up here to head towards the Fort de Russy beach. Okay, figure out where that is. We're right across from an army museum and walking through sort of an alley. It has a bush on one side and a building on another side, so I wouldn't quite call it an alley. Plus it's sunny in here, so that's pretty nice. The beach, dead ahead. At least I think this is the beach. We'll just walk along the beach to the right. I think that'd be really nice. And here it is, Fort de Russy beach. Look at this, 
beautiful beachfront on our right, you have this long pier with fishing taking place dead ahead. And it looks like a resort, not to mention a beautiful view of Diamond Head on our left. That's very cool to see off in the distance. Beautiful view all around. We're going to walk down this way and see if we can find the lagoon all the way at the end. This is a much quieter beach than Waikiki Beach with the beautiful soft waves rolling up to level off the sand on our left. Really nice to walk along this one as we're walking this pier type area. And this pier type area is pretty open on our right with seating and that beautiful sunset view on our right. A few shops though coming up on our right. We'll see what those look like as we make our way past them. As we make our way down, the beach opens a bit more. Before it was just a narrow area. Now it's gotten much larger. Here on our left, you can see it's more of a beachfront where people are kicking back, relaxing. And on our right is a shop where people rent gear. Looks like scuba gear, kayaks, umbrellas, really a range of things that you can rent. Definitely more of a beachfront on this side. Almost a sand castle blocking that sandy section from where we're walking on the walkway over here. Beautiful to see that sand fort on our left blocking us from the beachfront. Only a few more hotels down this way and we'll be at that lagoon as well. It most definitely seems like this is the more commonly used part of this beach, Fort de Rossi Beach. It's much larger and you can see people sitting along it. And that makes a bit more sense. If you have a large party, for example, that other beach might be tight. And look how wide it gets. Wow, really deep beach as we make our way down. This may be a Duke Paoa beach that we're looking at now. And this is another beautiful location to watch the sunset from as well. Perhaps we'll catch it on the way back from the lagoon we're heading to ahead. I'd love to catch more of that live music too. Could be good video background music. Very cool to see this pool on our right. Perhaps part of a hotel. That would be a cool hotel to stay at here by the Duke Paoa. And it looks like this one is the Hale Koa Hotel. As the beachfront continues to grow, it seems like there's a boat dock off in the distance on our left. I can't quite tell. And here's that Hale Koa Hotel sign with a beautiful looking pool. I wonder how much that hotel goes for. I feel like I'll have to look into that one since we're here. Can't hurt, right? Beautiful beachfront. Look at all those sailboats off in the distance. Love it. This is almost definitely the Duke Paoa. The two kind of merge at one point into a beachfront. On our right, the entry point from the Hale Koa Hotel over to the beach. People can walk through there in order to make their way to the beachfront. And on the left, Looks like that might say Port Hilton. Actually a boat dock for the Hilton Resort. Really cool. Maybe, maybe that's what that is and maybe we'll take a look. We'll see. I mean, since we're here, may as well walk through instead of around, am I right? It does indeed say Port Hilton up here. A boat dock for the Hilton Hotel. It seems like a few different boats, perhaps. I can't quite read clearly because the sun is right in that direction, but they have several different pieces of text. The Spirit of Aloha, perhaps. And the Atlantis, wow, that's awesome to see. They've got multiple boats and trees on the beach. They even have a restaurant here, the Tropics, that may be a part of a resort, but might be nice to try at some point as well. And this is most definitely the Duke Paoa Beach, making our way to the Duke Kanahamaru Beach. It sounds like that's what it is, or Kahanamaru, one of those two. It's a lot, a lot of characters to try to pronounce, but really nice to see this beachfront with the trees mixed right in here alongside the beachfront for you to sit back and relax under the shade which is nice in Hawaii you need those shady trees to keep you from getting sunburned. Here is the Duke Kahanamaru Beach coming up on our left and we're about to see that lagoon right around this corner behind this hotel I believe. Restoration of the Duke Kanahamaru Lagoon. Wow that sounds so interesting. It's a combination of the Duke Paoa and the Duke Kahanamaru and this is a beautiful Lagoon looks crystal clear. I don't even understand how this water sustains itself here. Perhaps that's the restoration component. Love to see this lagoon front here in Hawaii. Wow, right across from the beach, which is just over that way. If you're looking for something a little bit more mild, a little bit more relaxing, right here is your place to be with that beautiful view of the marina in the backdrop. Love that. And it looks like there might actually be two sections of the lagoon, or perhaps it's just one section but it has that natural rock formation, or perhaps not natural rock formation, in the middle. Beautiful, absolutely incredible to see that lagoon here. The Duke Paoa Kanahamaru Lagoon. I love it. It seems like in addition to the beach, the lagoon also has its own services. You've got lagoon services and towels back there. There's kayaks, there's stand-up paddle boards, there's these big wheel boat vehicles. 
Look at that beautiful view out there. Wow. I feel like it'd be really cool to swim in or to walk out into this waterfront and maybe touch that rock formation out there. I'm not quite sure what the regulations are, but I think you can. It seems like there's people boating on the water and there may be people in the water back in that right direction off in the distance. I'm going to take a look, make the lap and let you know what I think. Take a look around at this yet another perspective on the beautiful lagoon. You can see people walking through, kids playing in the water, even birds enjoying the water from a distance. This lagoon looks fantastic. I do at some point want to get on some beach clothes just to walk in this lagoon to maybe swim up to that middle point. Not sure I can get on it or climb up it. I'm not actually sure how deep I can go now that I think about it. There's a danger sign out there. So maybe just the shallows. Maybe it gets quite deep in the middle. I honestly have no idea how deep it gets. I would imagine it's walkable, but you know what? It's a lagoon. Who knows? It could be infinitely deep, but this is an amazing sunset view for us to have. I think the way I'm going to enjoy it is walking back along that Duke Paoa Beach or the Duke Kanahamaru Beach towards that music. If I can get back to the live music, I'll try to enjoy a bit more of that tonight. Wow. Love this from all perspective. Oh, it says danger rocks. There's rocks in the water. Otherwise, who knows? Maybe it's shallow enough. And I'm not sure with swimming in there either. Another open question. So there are ducks, but otherwise, who knows? This is so relaxing. It's incredible to walk around this lagoon here, just around sunset, just prior to sunset. Absolutely beautiful views. I absolutely love the look of this lagoon on our right. I'm telling you, such a nice vibe, a nice atmosphere. So relaxing. You know I liked the breaker part of the ocean, the more mild part of the ocean. So who knows? I might love this. I'm not sure how deep I could go in there. That would be the question. But assuming it's just the same as the ocean, which I envision it is, shouldn't be a problem to jump on in there. Enjoy some water vibes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view. The marina behind us, the sunset. Oh, this is a great way to see the sunset here in Hawaii. Take a look at this beautiful view here from the Duke Paoa Kanahamaru Lagoon from this perspective. This is an awesome angle to see it from as well with Diamond Head off in the background. You've got that sunset view with this hotel and the lagoon across. Absolutely love it. And I'm not sure, but it seems like there's maybe a spot where locals like to hang out too. I have no way of knowing for certain, but wow, it definitely has a nice beach vibe. Lots of fun, family fun on that side. And the beautiful beach and sunset on our right. What else could you ask for? Oh, such a relaxing way to end the evening. And quite a few people deep in the water watching the sunset. That's fun too. Look at them swimming around in the ocean to enjoy the sunset from the water. That sounds like a nice way to see it as well. There's so many ways to see a sunset here in Hawaii, and we have a few more yet to come. The party is not over yet. Ah, I love it. So, so nice out here. I got so distracted with these views here. The Hawaiian Hilton Village has their own pond across from the beach. Incredible. I forgot to mention that they mentioned at the Poke Bar, they have locations on the mainland as well, but apparently they're not as good because you get the fresh fish out here. I could most definitely see trying it out there too, but it's nice to hear that this is the best place to get it. It seems amazingly good. The sidewalks are getting more and more popular by the Duke Paoa Beach. As we get closer to sunset, it only makes sense. It's a beautiful time to be out here and to enjoy the beautiful views. Let's see if we can give you a good sunset view while I'm walking back. That could be a cool dynamic, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. I'm actually not sure if this is going to work because I realize there's so much motion involved. Can't keep the GoPro exactly level, but really, really nice to see that as we're walking away slowly from the sunset. It seems like the sun is behind a cloud now. We'll see if it emerges much for the sunset. I'm doubtful. There's quite a few clouds back there, but it is nice to see a cloudy sunset too, because it's a lot easier to look in that general direction as we watch it go. Ah, another beautiful way to watch the sunset here in Hawaii. It's been a great day and I'm looking forward to many more great days ahead. Just sitting out here relaxing and enjoying this beautiful sunset view now. We're getting a slight chance of rain, so hopefully it won't rain. Otherwise, I might try to get out of here quick, but we'll see. Only about 25 minutes till sunset now. Honestly, I could see making this its own vlog. Relaxing day on the beach at Hawaii. Just listening to the waves crash, watching the sunset. A 10, 20 minute relaxation video. What do you think? Would that be something that you'd want to see? Oh, it's really nice to experience firsthand. Who knows how it'll come through on the camera. Probably not as amazing as physically being here, but 
it's just such an amazing relaxing feeling unbelievable completely refreshing so so love this <laughs> goes the sunset in Hawaii is now complete I know it's not quite gone yet but we can't really see it past those clouds so it's a nice bright orange and I heard there's occasionally a green flash that comes with these sunsets but it doesn't seem like we'll see that tonight because there's too many clouds out there who knows something to keep our eyes open for in the future and that concludes our beautiful sunset food delicious adventures today. What did you think of today's adventure? Hope you had an amazingly positive day. Thanks so much for being a part of it with me today and helping to make my day an amazing day. Don't forget to make your day an amazing day as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future positive amazing adventures and keep a smile on whatever you might be doing. Until next time, play on. Feeling squeaky, I think maybe the screw is loose. Let me see if I can fix that for us. Maybe that's why we've been having shaky footage. Who knows? And I'm looking forward to many more great days ahead. A beautiful night view fanned on. Look at those waves and the sun coming through. Ah, oh, love it. Just sitting out here relaxing and enjoying this beautiful 